So the main team news, Russell Martin is back in, Jason Cummings is back in. If we start with Russell, he's obviously returned from injury. How fit is he? He's ready to go. He declared himself fit on Thursday, which is good for us. Um, I believe we missed him, we missed the experience. Um, and he'll bring that stability back to the back line um, in conjunction with Bruno. So I'm looking forward to seeing those two work together. I think the most talk will be about the fact that you've picked Jason Cummings over Alfredo Morales this afternoon. Why was that? It's something that's been in my thoughts for a while. We need to see Jason. Um, it's certainly not a reflection of last week. Um, but Alfredo's played a lot of football. Um, and, and maybe it's time for him to actually have an impact coming from the bench and let's see what Jason can do from the start. But I'm blessed with two really, really good forwards. I thought it was about time to freshen it up and, and you never know, Steve Clark might not be expecting it either. Are you at all worried that that might knock Alfredo's confidence? And not, not at all. I've had a chat to him as well and I think that more than anything else we want it to light a fire under him. Uh, and if it does that, then, then he's an explosive guy anyway. I think it could have a really positive effect on him. Um, he respects the decision. We've had a chat about it already. Um, he's obviously disappointed. But once again, we talk about using these things as, as fuel to try and power us forward. And, and Jason has an opportunity now, so he'll be trying to pull up trees. And hopefully it's got the same motivation to Alfredo. He wants to go and, and steamroll himself back into the team. So I've, I've, got, I've got the best of both worlds in that, I believe. Everyone said there's been a great mood in training this week. Are you confident you can bounce back quickly? I am. It's important that we do because all the things we talked about this season meeting, getting closer to those guys in front, being competitive, the, the, the goals and targets that we set ourselves are still there. They're still within our grasp, but we need to make sure we have a positive reaction today and we have a positive result today because we want to go on and finish this season on a high, like I've said. We can't afford to let one bad result have too much of an impact going forward. What do you expect from Kilmarnock? Uh, Organisation, belief, tempo. Um, a good pattern of play and understanding what they're trying to do uh, and, and a team that really works hard for one another. So we're, like, we're going to have to be at our best, but we need to make sure that we go and, go and put them to the challenge and, and really try and push the tempo because let's not forget, they played 120 minutes in the week. So we'll be trying to start hard, trying to start fast and, and try and put them under pressure here at home.